Well, uh, Rob Spakenbrink from the TEDx Delta organization approached me and uh, he said they had a meeting and my name came up and whether I was uh, able and willing to, to host the event. Um, I was flattered, very happy, because I had the feeling that this was really going to be something special. I knew the, TED, the, the normal TED Talks from, uh, from the internet and I was really excited by seeing a, a local uh, variant being set up. Uh, I looked up all the, all the uh, presenters um, and, and looked what they would talk about a little bit on their background. Uh, I made a, made a scenario for the whole day, what, what uh, bridges I would make. I had talks with uh, the organization from TEDx Delft. And I think it paid off. I mean, it was not just me doing the preparations. Everyone was really preparing, gearing towards this one moment where they would do their seven, eight, 15 minute talk. I got in touch with, with all the speakers where I could, in the, especially you know, during the rehearsals. And I sat down with them. And people would say, oh, please don't say that, or I'm more comfortable with that. And that made me feel more comfortable when I did the announcements. And from the organization, that uh, really helped me uh, yeah, getting a grip on the stage. What will happen? What will people do? Uh, what's what's the, uh, the whole plan for the day? Ha! Uh, crap, this is a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> yeah, I thought, well, you know, I, um, I had the idea the whole time that that this would be a pretty big thing, but this big, the whole electricity that was in the air, I had not anticipated that. People seemed to, they were very happy with what I did. Uh, that was, it's hard to take a compliment. It was fun. Uh, I felt that, that the stage was set so right. I mean, the speakers were right, the venue was right. Uh, audio, visuals, everything was, I just had to announce the people and that, that was not that hard. So but it was, I felt it was more of a compliment for the organization than for me. Bauke Steinhausen's talk, he said, well, you know, use more poetry to, to communicate things. And I started writing down a few terms and thought, oh, wait, maybe I can ju just a short sentence or a word or a term for every talk that I saw during the day. And then I you know, shuffled things a bit and then out came you know, what turned out to be a poem. If you want to give a good performance at TEDxDL, just, just, it sounds horrible, but be authentic, don't overact. If people uh, tell you, do it like this, and you don't feel comfortable, don't do it. I mean, I saw some of the m most amazing presentations I saw at, at TEDxDL were the people that were just telling their ID. Um, and I think that's what TEDx, uh, what TED is, spreading IDs. And it's not spreading your ego or spreading your job or your the name of your the company you will work for. There were a few people who had just one ID of which they gave great examples, uh, and they, they they had content. There was meat to it, and it was not just performance. I think the best performance has content.